out your window No, you can't sleep, you pretend though You don't have to play the hero Cause I got you like you got me When the earth shakes, when the bomb screams What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. As you can see in the garage today, we've got a 2011 BMW E90 335i. This is Drew's car, so you guys have probably seen this car in several other videos. We're working on a couple different modifications for this car over the next few episodes. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing carbon fiber front splitters on the front end. Just to alleviate some of the questions that you guys might have about Drew's E90 335i, I'm gonna take you guys around the car real quick and show you what all has been done and kind of talk about the things that have been done to this car um, as I have been the one to mostly install everything on here. So I pretty much know everything about this thing. Starting off, most notably, you'll see that he's got some brand new Apex Arc 8s on here. I believe these are 18 by nine in the front, 18 by nine and a half in the rear. So a little bit more aggressive than uh, the stock wheels and tires that were on here before. So these are gonna be in the front. These are 235-40-18s. So the rears are 265-35-18s. And these are the, this is Profile 3, the deepest concave that you can get on these wheels. So pretty nice fitment there. We just installed some uh, drilled and slotted rotors in a previous video not too long ago so definitely go check that video out if you need an install for that we also put some high performance pads on here and as you can see the brakes have been powder coated um a baby blue basically and then in the last video we did these led sequential um side markers here additionally on the exterior of the car you'll see these are carbon fiber mirror caps it's got 20 percent tint all the way around i think 20 or 15. he's got a color matched low kick spoiler there. Um, I can't really show you the back of the car right now, but uh, this is an M Sport car. It does have the M Sport bumper in the rear, so he actually had the rear diffuser painted in gloss black. Um, we've had a couple problems with trying to find proper fitting carbon fiber diffusers on this car. So he ended up just doing the gloss black for now. Most notably in the front are the headlights. These are fully custom LCI headlights from Z-Work lights. They've been completely modified, blacked out, gloss black in the inside. Um, and then he's got some round rings there that are actually switchbacks. So those are pretty cool. Additionally, you'll see the double slot grills here with the German theme. That might not be everybody's taste, but um, they're there. So Andrew likes it, so that's all that matters. And like I said, this is an import car, so factory import. He also has some um, HID fog lights in there as well. So for the exterior, that kind of wraps it up. He also has Cobb springs on here. Not too aggressive of a drop, but as you can see, he's probably got uh, about half a figure gap in the front. And the rear, he's got maybe one full finger, one and a half fingers, something like that. So. That pretty much wraps up the exterior of the car. I also wanna mention that this car was fully paint corrected about maybe a year, a little year and a half maybe ago. Uh, full paint correction with C Quartz UK all over the whole car. So it's all ceramic coated as well. All compliments of Eastside Auto Spa in Cincinnati. Okay, moving on to the interior here. Pretty stock for the most part. Um, he's got a, I think this is from IND, red start stop button. We did an install video on this as well. This is um, some aftermarket Alcantara 
uh, with the white stitching there. This is from ECS Tuning, so we replaced the knob and the shift boot here. Additionally, um, all of the trim, interior trim, has been wrapped. Uh, I actually did that. This is probably the second or third time I've wrapped um, this interior for him. So I do do that on the side, so if you guys are interested, hit me up. I can definitely do something for you there. So this is like a, I think this is Vivid Vinyl. They're gloss carbon fiber. But that's basically what that looks like. And additionally in the interior, we are going to be doing a full sound system, compliments of the guys over at Bob Sound. So if you guys recall, I did a full install series on my M3 with Bob Sound products. So we're actually going to be installing underseat subwoofers and a speaker upgrade in Drew's 335. So be on the lookout for that one. Okay, so for the important stuff, let's talk about power adders that are on this car. This is a full bolt-on vehicle at this point. So he's got a BMS intake system. He's got a VRSF front mount intercooler. That's the seven inch core. He's got catless VRSF downpipes and VRSF full exhaust. So uh, additionally, he's got a couple different tunes on here. He's running JB4 and a MHD backend flash, and he is running E85 most of the time. So uh, we've never actually dyno this car, so we're all curious to know what kind of power he's putting down. I'd say probably a little over 400 uh, at this point, but it's a pretty solid car. Okay, so now that we've covered all of the modifications on this thing so far, let's get on to today's install. Uh, again, we're going to be installing some carbon fiber front splitters here, one here and one here. He's had a couple different splitters on here before in the past, um, some of the eBay specials that really didn't have really good fitment. So the ones that he purchased for this is going to be actually from Mod Bargain. So hopefully these fit a little bit better. Okay, so these are two by two weave front splitters, again from Mod Bargains. They look pretty decent. I have not test fitted them yet, so I'm real curious to know how this is gonna go. As you can see, it's not pre-drilled or anything, so we need to take a look and see what it looks like on the bottom, or if we are just gonna use uh, the 3M tape that's supplied here, which I don't think will be enough, but uh, we'll test fit it and see how it goes. Um, I like to normally put a screw in here on the bottom just to hold it on, just in case he's going 120 miles an hour on the highway and this thing happens to fly off. It's better to have both the tape and some screws on here. But this is really lightweight, it is full carbon, so we'll see how it goes. So we're going to work on the passenger side here first. I'm just going to kind of throw this on here just to see what this looks like. I think we're even close here, so that's going to be a tight fit, I think, but I don't want to force it on all the way until we're ready to go, but um, I think this is going to be okay. So he's already got some rock chips down here. That's what happens after time. There is no clear bra on this thing, but so we'll at least be able to cover all this up. So before we go any further, I'm gonna clean up these areas uh, just with some soap and water and make sure it's all dry before we actually pull the tape off here and install. I've cleaned up the area underneath here, so I'm doing another dry test fit here. Um, it's not totally pushed on. It's very tight fitment, which is really good. Uh, as you can see, I can go a little bit further, but um, the only real thing here I don't like is the gap between the carbon and uh, the mesh grill here. You can actually see some of the, the gray paint coming through here. That's pretty common. Uh, additionally, he's got some condensation in there for some reason, so I think these are aftermarket, so that's probably why, but as you can see, this side fits pretty well too once it gets sucked in there. And this is the corner that we had a lot of issues with some of the eBay splitters that we purchased before and installed on here. So I'm actually really impressed with how this fits, so. And looking from underneath on the underside, there aren't any screws, OEM screws, or anything that we need to tap into. So I think we're gonna be able to just to put this on with the 3M tape. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more uh, just to make it more secure. And additionally, I've got some leftover gloss black vinyl that I think I'm gonna put a vinyl strip back here in black just to kind of help cover up the gray. So I've got some spare vinyl here. This is 3M gloss black just had lying around from previous jobs. So uh, I cut this about 14 inches, 14 and three quarter inches. And hopefully that should be enough to kind of go back here and hide this whole gray section back here all the way across. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back off again. And then I'm gonna try to line this up as best I can. 
kind of tuck it underneath here. This is probably a little bit of a large piece, but I've cut two strips, uh, one for each side. All right, so there you go. You can see that I've tucked the black vinyl underneath as far as I could, just so you don't see any gray. And I did do a little relief cut here. This doesn't have to be the most pretty thing because it is gonna be covered by the splitter, but that should at least remove the gray line that was back there before. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good here. Um, this tape might be sufficient enough. Uh, I kind of don't want to do the bottom side because this is such a tight fit. I mean, every piece is going to be a little bit different. That's kind of the, the bad thing about carbon fiber is they all fit a little bit differently. Um, but this tape might be sufficient enough for us to put on here and, and keep it from moving. It's a pretty snug fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off, at least try to get some of this going, pull the backing off the tape and then get it on here. Pulled off the backing on the tape here, just a little bit here, so I, once I get it on, I can actually pull this all the way across. Uh, I did pull that one all the way off since it's just gonna go flat on there, but let's uh, get this on here. All right, looks pretty good. So here's a little progress report. We've got it all on there now. I did add some extra tape on the underside, right around this section and the underside of this section, just for some extra hold. Um, it is a tight fit, but it was wanting to pull off a little bit. And as you can see here in this corner section, it does kind of stick out and the tape won't hold in that particular spot. So I might actually put a little bead of caulk in here. So I've got some black caulk. I've done that before. I've done it on my M3 with white caulk, just because I don't want dirt and water to get underneath here and compromise the tape. So I'll do a little bead of caulk there, but the rest is on there pretty nicely. Then I went ahead and did the same thing on the driver's side. So I've got my vinyl tape back there, my vinyl wrap, and then there's the fitment on the end, pretty decent. And then same thing, I did some little bit of extra tape uh, right here on the bottom and over here on the bottom. And so this side, you can also see the 3M tape it doesn't wanna stay. I even added an extra piece of tape right here but you can see that it, it's not flexing enough. So it's just gonna keep pulling off. So I will, same thing, I'll do a little small bead of caulk right here just to prevent any water from going in. But overall, these are a thousand percent better than all of the other eBay ones that I've installed on this car. So I think Drew should be really, really happy with this one. It might seem a little bit ghetto to use caulk, but this is kind of what I've done in the past and this is what we're gonna do on this car. So as you can see, the, I'm using black. It's kind of more of a really, really dark gray, so it kind of blends in with the paint. Um, but this was purchased from either Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, this is really just a household caulk, so it's 100% waterproof, window, door, and trim sealant. It's basically a silicone, but easily removable. So if we ever need to pull these off, it should come off pretty easily. As you can see, I did a little thin bead of caulk right here. Matches the paint decently well, and from like two feet away, you can barely tell that it's there. This side is a little bit closer, so not as much caulk was needed there. But again, won't even notice it. So pretty simple. Just gotta be patient and make it work. So that's the negative thing about carbon fiber is it never fits like OEM, but it does look damn good. Well guys, that just about wraps up the install for the carbon fiber splitters here from Mod Bargains. I think it looks really, really good. It's nice and subtle. It's nothing too crazy. There aren't a ton of carbon fiber lips for the M Sport models. So um, guys, a lot of guys end up doing some custom stuff or maybe they put a M3 front bumper on here. But in terms of carbon fiber splitters, this is the way to go. I think it looks really, really clean. It's not horribly low, so hopefully he doesn't scrape too much. But if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching.